<sighs> Our buddies in the West Lap Pirates. One of them is a Denver Broncos fan. So let's start with them. The Denver Broncos, 6-10 in 2018. Division championships, or uh, division championship odds, they're plus 1,400, so not great. Strength of schedule, second toughest projected uh, schedule in the NFL. Turnover margin, they were number eight in the league last year, plus seven. They hired in head coach Vic Fangio, uh, who was the Chicago Bears defensive coordinator. Their over-under is seven this year. The juice on the over is minus 120. The juice on the under is even money, plus 100. They are a projected favorite in five games this year. Uh, so not quite to that seven-game level. But uh, as far as total yards per play for this offense last year, uh, middle of the road, 5.5. They were number 18, so 5.5 yards per play on offense. Uh, offense coordinator is Rich Scanginello. I love that name, by the way. They signed quarterback Joe Flacco. Uh, they signed right tackle Juwan Jones. They drafted tight end Noah Fant, or Font, or whatever you want to call it, from Iowa. They drafted offensive tackle Dalton Risner and quarterback Drew Locke. Now, Drew Locke will be a backup to Flacco this year. To start for a little season. while. Uh, but the other two were expected to start immediately. Yeah. So, a little, uh, little surprising that they, were, uh, they weren't built up in that regard. Defense, yards per play, they were number 20 in the league last year. That was not good. Uh, 5.7 yards per play they gave up. Defensive coordinator is... Ed Dantel signed cornerback Kareem Jackson. They signed cornerback Bryce Callahan. Uh, tell me what to like and what not to, or just tell me, tell me something about this team because I don't feel like I can understand what they're going to be. I, I can like tell you exactly what they're going to be. They're going to be a hard nosed defensive team. They're going to press your folks like crazy. Um, Bradley Chubb is going to come into his own this year. Bob Miller is still going to be the beast that he's been. He's not slowing down. Now, what about running back Philip Lindsay? Is it, was he just a flash in the pan last I'm year? I'm on the or? defensive side. Hang okay, on. sorry. Hang sorry, on. Sorry, Hang on. I think Vic Fangio is a defensive genius. I really, really like him. I'm so glad he got an offense, uh, 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 a head coaching <laughs> job just because offensive coordinators are, are the only people getting these jobs today. I think if any team was going to hire a defensive guy, I think it's – I think it's Broncos. I think they want to play hard-nosed defense. Um, offensively, I don't know what to think about the quarterback situation. If I think Vic has his say, he wants to run the football. He wants to – I think they need to mirror what the Ravens did last year. Play hard-nosed, attacking defense. Don't turn the ball over. Run the football. Control the line of scrimmage. Control the game clock. And, and they're going to have lower-scoring games. Make your field goals. Put points on the board when you can. Don't make mistakes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of all of their um, their skill players. The best player offensively on their team last year, Philip Lindsay, was an, a breakout. Emmanuel Sanders, even in his upper years before he got hurt, was putting up numbers that nobody expected. Came yeah. out of nowhere. If he can come close to doing that this year. I think it'll be massive. Will Phil Lindsay take a step back? Maybe. Might not be as good. They've added a couple other running backs back there. I, I have no idea who will really be the second or third guy. They've kind of got a muddled backfield behind him. But I think I think they're going to try to be something different than what they were last year. I think they're going to be a ball control team that leans on the defense. I've got them at 6-10. and 10. Now, that's under the 7. Now, they were 6-10 and 10 last year. I don't trust Flacco. Uh, I think Lindsey will have numbers, but I think they're eventually going to transition to Drew Locke because I, I don't like Flacco. I agree. Um, and it's, I'm sure that he's a fine guy. I just don't like him as a player right now. As he's aged, he's not as efficient as he used to be. Um, I mean, we'll see. Uh, but I've got him 6-10. and 10. What, uh, what have you got? I got him 8-8. Eight and eight. And eight I think this eight. team's going to compete because I think defense matters. Okay. I think the schedule is hard strictly because you got to play two games against the Chiefs, you got to play two games against the Chargers. I think I think that that inflates the difficulty of the schedule. Um just just because the teams in your division are that difficult and you got to play them twice. Yeah. Um I don't think this team's going to be afraid of either of those teams. I think 
I think they're going to, you know, struggle on the road. But when they have those teams at home, I think I think they're going to do just fine. Okay. Um, they're going to win differently. They're going to play a different style of football than than what is being played for the most part throughout the NFL. I, I think that can help them catch defenses off balance because most defenses are preparing for spread it out, pocket passing, or um, elusive running quarterbacks that, that are spreading the football all over the place. I think if they do that, they'll lose. If they don't and they play within their means and play within their talent level, I think they'll win. Okay. Okay. I like this team. I think they compete for a wild card spot. Wow. That's okay. I mean, I've got them six and ten, so I've got them nowhere near the playoffs. Uh, if, if they won seven, eight, I could I could see that. I couldn't see nine or ten. I just I don't It gets tough. It gets tough. I yeah. mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they won one game better than what I thought, but 